have him 211 at 454 South Main. <laughs> Yes, people, there we are. Today is going to be a good one. Why? We're going to pick up a crazy, crazy piece at Dior. They're going to close the complete store down for us because it's this exclusive. Never been purchased in the Netherlands before. So we're in Europe, bring, maybe not in Europe. Maybe in Europe <laughs> even. Anyway, we'll bring you guys along. Hey, what did we do last month? Well over 2 million in revenue. So sometimes you have to treat yourself with some good investments because that is what this is. It's not some piece that you spend money on and poof, it's gone. No, investment will be discontinued and then it will only rise in value. So, for the people that don't know me, Samuel Onua, 24 years old, founder of Icon Amsterdam. Next to me, Ruben Onua, 22 years old, uh, running all uh, operations Icon Amsterdam and uh, yeah, crushing it, man. <laughs> so, if you haven't checked the last video out yet, fucking hell, we got a new exhaust for this Urus. Bro, you should have seen the reactions, man. I swear, we've blown people their ears out. We gave people headaches, migraines, tinnitus, everything combined. <laughs> Where are we at right now? We got some glasses ready. So, Ruben, can you tell uh, what yeah, we Yeah, we're here at uh, Smith Optics. We always come here. They always have uh, good glasses for us. So we uh, made two custom-made uh, Cartier uh, glasses, one with diamonds and the other one without diamonds. So uh, they are finally finished. It took months for them. Uh, to finish them so we're picking them up and next to that i think we uh, get two other new ones as well so uh, let's go told you get yourself some catch a glass i think i like this one the most out of uh, mm -hmm. out of these two but those has more diamonds so maybe it's better i don't know <laughs> Hey, I told you in that Onua and Sansford video and last time we were here. These are the best glasses. Yeah. Hey, hey people, get yourself some, some Cache glasses, man. The best glasses there is, no doubt. Hey, if you want to look 1% more rich, then maybe your bank balance shows, get yourself some Cache glasses. I still want the name. I can fall out of the sky and I still want the name. Perhaps go for this one. Because I have one in, uh, in like uh, silver, but I lost it. So maybe make it exactly the same or new like this so guys I go for this frame with these glasses I mean this frame and then the black tips and then with this color glasses so let's see how it will look okay so we just uh, ordered two more nice glasses we already had two in production they were nice but not perfect so we adjusted uh, most of the the shape some of the the cut was not perfect so within one, one week, one week will, uh, arrange everything will be ready. In total, then it will be four new glasses mm -hmm. of Cartier. Yeah. And we still uh, yeah, missing two. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Someone has been in our car, I think. Motherfuckers, I don't know. You know what happens when you make money? You lost something, instead of like throwing everything upside down to find them, you just step in and you buy new ones. I said, you have it in the system? He said, yes. We said, produce it. Bro, it's just 1.5K. We make that in an hour and a half, bro. No, 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 way quicker. No, one hour. What? One hour, one hour. Just imagine yourself seeing someone who comes from a country in Africa, Nepal, or wherever, looking at you doing nothing with the opportunity to make money. How would that person look at you? <sighs> Disgusted, bro, come on. I don't understand if you have one life, one shot, why not go through life and make it the best possible? Most people, you'll find out that the end of their uh, life on their deathbed, they have, haven't even experienced the finer things in life, bro. All the money is up for grabs, but you have to see it in your mind, create a vision, visualize, because that was one thing I was always good at. Even when I had nothing going for myself, I was able to see myself winning, making money, living the good life, you know? And I can tell you quite honestly, I didn't understand how I was gonna do it. I didn't understand the magnitude. If I look at the life right now, I've created that it was gonna end up like this but I always knew that I had to do more you know had to be more and then to 
now right now be here I, i'm driving around in amsterdam everybody's fucking look i don't know why do you know why? Maybe it's because we just put a fucking Capri Sol exhaust under this bitch. But man, oh man. I'm someone I always wanted to be different, you know? I was inspired by the fear of being average. And I think a lot of you can relate with that. Deep inside, you know that you are not made, you are not cut to be like everyone else, right? You have that small voice inside of you that talks to you like, I know I can do more, I'm worth more. But do you stop there or do you go on a search? I went on the search, I didn't know how, but I knew one motherfucking thing. That was that every day I was gonna pray for an opportunity and once that opportunity came, I would double down on it. That fucking opportunity came, it was e-com for me and it transformed everything. Then to look back right now in retrospect to see how much lives it has impacted around me, the success it has accumulated for myself, how my brother has transformed his fucking life, how my mom is so thankful. She always used to be stressed out because she didn't know what would end up with their sons you know not good in school my mom she's a very smart woman extremely smart but I uh, found out one thing when I was younger and that is being book smart or uh, finishing uh, university doesn't necessarily mean that you have money because I grew up not having much bro I wanted the finer things but I couldn't get it uh, there was no opportunity around me and yeah, it was just that was just a struggle but it opened my eyes that somehow uh, it's not the degree per se of course you can get a degree in, uh, in, in, in physics or become a doctor and you're like that is the goal but getting a random degree doesn't mean anything bro so <laughs> Fast forward right now, no fucking degree, did over two million, no more, two and a half million last month with our Shopify store, buying for millions worth of inventory. And I can tell you one motherfucking thing, they never asked me for a degree. And I'm here sending hundreds of thousands in payments to suppliers, never asked me for a degree. So anyway, Ruben, where are we going? Yes, sir, we're going to the shopping street. So it's called PC Head Street in the Netherlands. You don't get head there, but it's, <laughs> you can shop there. If you go, if you go <laughs> enough times, yeah. you get it. It's Amsterdam, but you don't get head in the shopping street, unfortunately. Um, but now, nah, man, we're going to uh, pick up some uh, nice pieces. So first, uh, going to the Louis Vuitton store. Uh, needs a new winter jacket as well. And then after that, in the evening, we're going to uh, Dior. and. Uh, uh, what we are going to do there is picking up a very very special piece an investment piece so uh, we waited a long time for it it came all the way from uh, yeah the Dior in Paris so uh, they shut down the complete uh, store for us and uh, they make it a big thing of it because it's a big thing uh, because nobody in Europe has done uh, that before about that back before so um, we'll be good but guys if there's one thing I learned throughout my e-com journey I want to give you one practical advice and that is the money doesn't spend itself so let's go do that shit. Clothes busted, nose dusted, watch the older bros hustling. Started off wrong, but you couldn't tell me I ain't know nothing. All I ever want was to put on and get my folks on. Knocking at my sister window, coming in at four something. Mama tripping by the way I'm living. He, he's putting me on the spot here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. This ain't COVID no more. This, this okay. is a BS test. Dina, three. Fuck. Okay. Nice. Ja, maar gelijk, gelijk, shit, officieel. Oi, 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 samen. Ja, man, ik kom er doorheen. Ja, hoor. Hij heeft ook. Dik, dik, dik. <laughs> Girl from Louis Vuitton, she said, we have something special for you that you might like. So she came with this crazy watch box. So this is a one of one piece that they have here. And like this, it rarely comes in. So you can even have it with like a, a name tag on it. So. That's what we're gonna do. She also showed some other options in terms of colors. So there's like a, a little bit more lighter blue. Uh, I think it was like cane blue or something. It was named like that. Very Science. nice. Cyan. 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 I always fuck Kane up the name. The oh, hey, Harry Kane, is that you? <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get a watch box because not she, no, but she she knows you gotta expand, you know, the watch collection. So she knows we don't have a box like this yet, and with time we will uh, probably invest in some more because also this good investment pieces. So uh, and also they hang some uh, nice items for us ready that we will try. Yeah. So these ones, this blue is very sick. This shirt also insane. Wow, this one is spectacular. Yeah. But these two are bangers. 
we're trying on everything they fucking have because everything that fits good, we buy it. Right. What do you think of the jacket, guys? It's a bit criminal, but uh, no, it's good. It's good for Since we're in a luxury store, Jay Gatsby asks, what is one expensive luxury purchase that you think is well worth your money? Uh, watch, watch for sure. A watch gets respect, you know, if, especially if you want to connect on places where people don't know who you are yet. It's very important to, uh, yeah, Especially in Dubai. Out. If yeah. you go to a restaurant or you meet somebody and you don't have a watch on, people will not take you seriously. So, for example, if you meet somebody and you already have a nice watch on, then they're like, ah, oh, this is a person of interest, maybe I can talk business with him, I need to take that person serious. And if you don't have a watch, they cannot see that from a mile away. They first need to know you, so definitely uh, one of the best appearance. Investment. Appearance matters a lot. That people underestimate this shit. I tried to style myself properly since I was young because the better your appearance, the more confidence, the more confident you are, the better you act, the easier you do business, the easier you open up to people. People want to connect with you if you are in that, that nice confident flow, you know. So a watch definitely does that shit. And it's a, a trophy, so that's what I would say. Nick Erov asks, what niche can you recommend for nowadays? The best niche and the most underrated one by all fake ass gurus, because that's what they are. They, they, they talk a lot, but yet they don't know shit. The best niche and the most underrated niche is fashion, hands down. Well, we are in a fashion store. I sell fashion, Ruben sells fashion, and 70% of my clients sell fashion because it's the biggest niche. People can have their closet full with a bunch of clothing. They will still buy more. Your mom buys uh, fashion, your grandma, everyone buys fashion. And people, they neglect it because they think, oh, you use a dropship model, so you will have returns and this and that. Bro, it doesn't matter if you, if you, you have returns. You just need to have a good back end. And next to that, the great thing about fashion is the returning customers. We have every day 50% returning customers. Customers. Also, for example, when we send the email out, we can easily do 50K with that email only because we have the returning per customers. They see a new color or a different new item, they will just buy it. And you don't have that in uh, all other niches. For example, in the home niche, also a good niche, but you don't have that much returning uh, customers. So that's why I think fashion is one of the best uh, niches. For sure. So go after it or stay poor, stay broke. Then official asks how to be consistent with making sales on Facebook ads. Tell the ad, ad structure. So yeah, the structure that we use is uh, CBO, no targeting. That's also what we recommend for all our clients. It's very easy. You just set up a CBO, uh, do no interest. Also, you don't need to target on a man or a woman. Just leave everything open. And uh, then you do uh, one ad set in there uh, and with three creative, and that's the best technique. And just for your information, do one CBO per product if you are drop shipping, and do one CBO per collection or for your whole brand when you have a more branded store you know keeps it very simple when drop shipping you of course test a lot of products so it's better to have CBO per product because you then can easily see how it's performing scale it up or of course kill it if it doesn't get the desired results and next to that what's important to keep consistent with your Facebook ads is you don't want to scale recklessly you always want to have a solid structure when scaling up or down so how we do that is we uh, scale up or down with 25% uh, every uh, day uh, if the performance is good but we always look back uh, at the last three days and the uh, day before but the day before is the most important thing because if the day before uh, wasn't good then we also don't uh, scale up uh, and that works for us uh, most of our clients do it with 20% to be even more secure but we have a very solid ad account so we can scale with 25% uh, every day or um, yeah that's how we do it yeah, for sure. I missed out on being poor. That's one thing. <laughs> I missed out on hanging out with losers. I missed out on shitty on... parties, sh shitty girls. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a fucking fact. Yeah, man. Bro, that's the most broke question ever. You know why? Because people, they want to justify why they want to stay in the same place. So they ask, are there things you missed out on on your way to success? Or maybe in general with succeeding? 
bro, you miss out on a, on a fuck ton, but it are the good things, you know? Mm. Because, bro, those things you are doing, you really call it fun. It's not even fun. What, what is a, a drinking with, with losers, going out with them, or those, those fake friends you mm. have? It's not fun. You know what's fun? Winning. When you're at the top, when you can look in the mirror and you're just proud of the person you've created, the people around you you've transformed, the business you've built. Fun should be growth, you know? When you're just happy with, with who you are, where you're going. So I don't care about missing out. I miss out a lot every, uh, because it's part of it, you know? And I don't see it as missing out. So uh, hell no, bro. But uh, yeah, for sure. Missed out on being broke. That's a big one. Missed out on being a bitch. <laughs> That's what you don't miss out on. So there was a little 10 or 11K. I cannot even calculate properly, man. The iPhone does it for me. But Ruben, what we do yesterday? 85K uh, euro, so that's uh, like a 90, 95K dollars. 27K profit. And like that's I said, there's one thing I learned. The money doesn't spend itself. <laughs> Sit up, never lack, you know it's put you back in with the automatics, we gon' set up to have it. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, what? Like a Mary, like a Mary. Billy Jean, Billy Jean. Uh, Christian Dior, Dior. I'm up in all the stores. So, I have to close the complete Jeez. store down because there's something happening in a minute. Hey, it's more expensive than some people their car or many people their car. But it's a good investment, so uh, no, to cut all the bullshit. I did it a wonderful job. They invited us. Let's see how it will go down. They're bringing some drinks for us right now. So let's make ourselves a bit comfortable here, you know? Yes, sir. Take the jacket off, take the pants off. Like oh, if we're home. Oh, we're wait. home. No, wait. Second home. I just sell pants. I don't... Second uh, home. Second home. <laughs> All right, guys, Moment Supreme is going to unpack the piece right now and also tell a bit about uh, why it's such a special item. So, there we go. You now tune into the biggest ever. YMCMB, Tunchi Lee, Young Angel, Young Lion, man. Y'all boys get on the track with Onika Mirage and y'all still dying, man. What's up? We in this bitch. This ain't gonna be the first time that I do numbers on two crutches See more plaques than two brushes Until I'm at the pearly white gates I gotta move something, do something All meetings happen in person so they can't prove nothing Known her eight years and still fuck her like a new husband Trying to run Only eight pieces in all worlds at this moment with this bag This is alligator, I call it Himalaya because it's coming from Himalaya And they call it white Himalaya because it's, it's mm. white of the snow is coming down It's white, so that's why So, um, to, uh, uh, to create this bag, just one piece, mm -hmm. it, uh, the skin goes through a long uh, process. We use only best top quality skins without scratches, uh, without anything, damages or whatsoever mm -hmm. it is. So to create one bag, it takes a lot of uh, craftsmanship uh, at your and uh, a lot of time. So it goes through many, mm -hmm. many different processes to, to create uh, this piece. As you can see, mm -hmm. these are different type, uh, different uh, bodies of the animal. Every bag is unique, uh, right? Every bag is unique. Every bag, uh, so if you desire to order one extra, mm. it will never be the same. So, it will yeah. be always different colors. Yeah. Because every every animal has mm. different uh, different color. Yeah. Color, yeah. Different yeah, so not all of them are the same. So every time you will see different ones. So yeah. one is more brownish, like, like this one, and the other one might be more more whitish. More, this is the first croco bag that is sold uh, in uh, this store for men. Yes, for men, <laughs> this is the first one yeah. we sold uh, for <laughs> Samuel. Thank you. Yeah. So people, just look at it. Too beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what else I have to say? <laughs> and it's the first one ever to be purchased here in uh, in the yeah. Netherlands. Yeah, so. The first one. <laughs> so the first croco bag in the Netherlands. Yes, sir. Let's go. Dior uh, gloves. <laughs> hey, I, I I bet you you don't have this. So. <laughs> yeah. Speaking about the uh, about the hardware, if you're gonna uh, walk around in Dubai. Um, Try avoid direct the sunlight. Mm. It's not good. So it can might damage the bag. You can hang it on the wall like a wall, <laughs> like a painting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. A like artwork. Art. Yeah, it's, it's but art. it's a piece of art. So. It is definitely. Yeah. What's the first time you're gonna wear it, you think? 
yeah, I, w I want to wear it straight away, but I think here uh, in uh, Amsterdam, I'm uh, not really gonna wear it. I will bring it to Dubai. Yeah, exactly. And there I, I, there I think I will wear it too much. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Because I already have like the all white uh, saddle yeah. bag. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the, the bag I've, I've wear the most by far. I just love it, how it fits and everything. So this one, yeah, it, it's, and, and you can wear it whenever, so. So true. Yeah. Yeah. Samuel, when you travel with this one, uh, you have special people who give it to you. So I can travel with you it? You need to have yeah. it. You, yeah, have, really? you have to have it with you. What oh. happens if I don't? Uh, customs might get difficult. Yeah, they yeah. They can take the bag. Oh. You take in the bag, keep, we always, we always say clients, keep the passport inside the bag no matter what. Uh, so you will so never forget so it. So Maybe it, even put yeah. it in your passport. So this yeah. bag has its own passport. Yes, yeah. so you cannot, you, cannot, you, cannot, you cannot travel with the exotic uh, leather products because of the import and export costs. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people who are trying to bring it in the country in a new way. Yeah. So that's why the customs are very strict with these things. So if you travel with the uh, exotic, because um, the customs want to see that the animal has been treated in a nice way and hasn't been killed somewhere and, mm. and, um, or life uh, skin get out. Mm. So it, that's why they have the passports. Uh, it's proof that uh, it's real one. You are not bringing illegally, yeah. but you have uh, proof of purchase. How does it hit on camera? How did you expect the bag? I had no idea it's going to no. be this color. No. It's Matt. Rest in peace, crocodile, but, but <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful animal is the crocodile, man. I, yeah. love, I love crocodiles, man. Mm. Rest in peace with this one, but worth it. <laughs> if, if, if vegan stipling in the comments. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Cheers, guys, on uh, a lot more uh, crocodile bags. <laughs> Bro, that's it. So just let things like this be a motivation, inspiration. I'm here because I got inspired when I was younger by people buying designer goods, designer stuff. I can tell you one thing for sure. You ain't wearing this bag if you ain't got nothing here. You ain't got no value. You ain't made sacrifices to become a person of value and achieve success, you know? So that's also what it shows. Same with a beautiful watch, same with jewelry. Go for it, be different. I was always inspired by the fear of average. That's why I'm here. Let's go. I run a country like Putin one day, but who's Russian? Who's bluffing? For real? Who you hugging? Who you want to be loving? Game. I play 48 minutes on a tour meniscus. Who's subbing? El Chico luxury. Want to see my niggas ball so bad I started up a league. Fuck with me. You niggas can't trouble me from the double tree. Step your sweet shot. Yes, sir. So, we just bitch in front of. Yo guys, I put it in front, let's load it in. That's when I had to hit her with the nice to meet you. You niggas think you doing damage, you just hyping me up. Face who? I can see a wall of y'all, all of y'all, and run straight through. Trust us up. Fun and games until I wanna play too. Adios mio, the ice is free. They say money doesn't buy after this. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the fucking video we just spent sixty thousand dollars in the base here hofstraat man crazy did you see that himalaya back unreal first one in netless ever so subscribe to the channel 100k subscribers very fucking soon and because it's samuel rubido nua want to do something special once we hit 100k subscribers i will take one lucky subscriber with me in the euros pace hofstraat and i'm gonna drop ten thousand dollars on that motherfucking geezer make him drip out top to bottom it's gonna be crazy man what you want we buy it and of course we make sure that you leave that fucking day with some knowledge next level make sure your business is all set up to go next level hey Sam Onua, Ruben Onua, ciao ciao